Hi, I'm Kiki. And I'm Envy. And today we're here with Sin. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you guys? Good. good. Thanks good. for being here. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Anything to do with anyone like you. Only with you. Anything to do with anyone like you. Uh, so let's dive into your music a little bit. All right. We are both huge fans of Only With You. That song is oh my great. Thank you. Thanks um, so much. Yes. What's your songwriting process typically look like? Does it ever start with an acoustic instrument or lyrics? How does that usually go? Yeah. Well, I wrote the lyrics for that song, the verse lyrics, before I got with Felix. Felix is a producer. And so I came in with those lyrics and they were like standard enough where they could kind of, I could adapt them for any melody or for any like bass melody. Um, we started on acoustic guitar and I recorded it over that. And then three seconds later, he was like remixing the track. He sped up the tempo and it turned into like this electronic funk pop song. And it really, at the, in the beginning, sounded like, like a John Mayer type guitar style, which was like really great to write to and, and like vibe out to that before it turned into like a very electronic thing. Because sometimes it's hard for me to find that inspiration when it's just over like glitchy sound. Do you ever like perform it stripped back? Like how you started it? I'd love to. In the future, I think I'd love to do like some live lounge type of things where I would you know, have it stripped back. And I think, I think I'd be even better at performing that song stripped back and yeah. slower. And so well, I could really like feel it. Yeah. How would you um, describe your music to people listening to it for the first time? Well, lately I've been using the word funk a lot. I think <laughs> there's like subtle funk elements in Only With You, but even in like the stuff I'm writing now that is just brand new. It's like very like funky, but still pop and like girly and sweet but I've been trying to add some like tension in my music. Yeah. It's very dancey. Yeah, that's what my mom says. She's like, I hope you're dancing to your songs because I feel like dancing when I listen. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom, we'll see. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so what do you expect your fans to gain from your music? I guess I just hope that when they listen to my music that they feel like I'm a friend. You know, when I was like growing up and like being bullied and everything else, listening to like, Avril Lavigne and like, you know, all of that stuff that was popular in the early 2000s. Katie, even Taylor Swift, like I would listen to those songs and feel like I had like a girlfriend in my room with me. Like, and we were like, you know, both complaining about that guy that didn't like us or <laughs> being the outsider. Like, I hope that they can find a friend in what I write about. Yeah, so you mentioned Katie earlier that she was like one of your inspirations. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us the story of how you met her and how yeah. you eventually got signed to Unsub Records? I went to the California Dream Tour in 2011. I saw her DJ's, like her opening DJ's Twitter handle on the marquee. So I would like send this guy, his name is DJ Skeet Skeet, my demos. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, I would send him my demos and I did that for a couple years and then finally he was like, well, why don't you come to LA? Like, we can set up some sessions, because he works in music publishing. And uh, when I did that, I ended up meeting Lauren Glucksman, who works with Katie. And then she showed Katie my music, and then it was like, all of a sudden I was in Katie's living room, playing songs on the piano, and... Oh my God, yeah. that's insane. That, it was like really insane. It was really insane. It felt like Christmas came and went really fast. <laughs> you know when you're a kid like, and you wake up and it's like December 26th and you're like, oh my God, it's over. That's what it felt like the next morning, oh. except I had plans to meet her again. So. Except it's like yeah. a never ending Christmas. Totally. So cool. It's <laughs> really say. good to have her and her team as like a backbone for me. You know, when we talk, it's about art and it's about like finding ourselves in music and every now and then we like talk about boys and whatever, but like, oh my God, yes. but yes. it's mostly just about art. Like that's <laughs> cool. why we're, you know, friends because of that. I was told no so many times. Like I never got a lead in my high school musicals. Like so many times it was like, I was told I wasn't going to be able to do this and now I am. So it was like just being able to come back after being told no, I think played a bigger part in it than luck. And I'm still being told no, you know? <laughs> I'm new, so I'm like still being told no. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about Taylor Swift? <laughs> I love her music. Cool. Sweet. Yeah. Just, just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> you 
know, trying to like, sneak it in there? Yeah. No, not so I'm sneakily. on my A game right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird question. We're about to get really weird. Just get ready. So after stalking your social media a lot, we noticed that you have like a weird <laughs> obsession with churches. Not the band. Uh, I didn't even notice. Which the band is good too. The band is good. Yeah. But like you know. Churches. Churches. Yeah. Do you and believe my name in is God? Sims, like, <laughs> do I believe in God? Um. I believe in a higher power, yeah. I'm not sure if I believe in like the whole narration around it. Totally. You know? Like I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to meek out on my own, whatever that, that means. And like decide who God is for me, you know? I'm cool. open to that. Poo. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever be like a priest? Definitely not. Cool. No. Yeah. Priest name Sin? <laughs> yes. Priest name Sin. You're like the ultimate girl crush in my opinion. Like you have like great fashion and you sing like awesome pop songs and I just could imagine a lot of girls look up to you. Mm -hmm. um, who are your girl crushes at the moment? I really like Toblo a lot. Yes. We're obsessed with Toblo. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could her. listen to her for my entire life. We also read that you really like slang words. Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't use them. I love the, <laughs> I love the idea that like a word could be trendy. Like suddenly everyone's okay. saying a word. I feel like that's really yeah. interesting. What has been like your favorite word? Lately I've noticed a lot of people using like the word tea. Like, oh, what's the tea? Have you guys seen this? No. no. So, so like I'm if you, it's like when um, someone's like spilling the gossip. It's like literally spilling the tea. Does oh that make sense? God, Would you say that. spilling the tea or like spill the tea? Like spill the like tea. if they're like, oh my god, I have something to tell you, you can be like, spill it, honey, spill up the tea. Interesting. Like, I love that. Or like tea, just one word, like tea, tea like hashtag. Tea time. <laughs> like like, like the letter tea, tea time? Or no, like, like, like tea that you drink. Green tea? Mm-hmm. Word. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, Thank Anne. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. Nice <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh. I'm actually drink it. <laughs> yeah, don't drink. Hi, this is Sin. You're watching Babel Music. Can I do it again? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Hi, this is Sin, and you're watching Babel Music.